Have you ever pondered the possibility of paranormal activities lurking in the shadows of our ordinary lives? Let's delve into the oldest known paranormal mystery in New Hampshire, the haunting of the ocean-born Mary House. Imagine, if you will, a story brimming with spectral curses and ghostly apparitions. The tale begins with Mary, christened Oceanborn because she was born at sea during her family's journey from Ireland to America. The legend tells of a pirate's curse that sent Mary's life spiraling into the paranormal. The pirate, seeking to protect his ill-gotten treasure, placed a curse on the property that Mary would eventually call home. But that was just the beginning. Over the centuries, the Oceanborn Mary House has been the epicenter of countless ghostly sightings and eerie occurrences. The spectral form of Mary herself has been seen wandering the house and its surrounding property. Residents and visitors alike have heard strange noises, witnessed inexplicable movements, and felt the chill of unseen presences. These occurrences have given rise to speculation and theories, each more fascinating than the last. Some believe Mary's spirit is still tied to the house, unable to find peace. Others suggest that the pirate's curse continues to linger, casting a shadow over the property. The ocean-born Mary House, a tale as old as time, continues to be a source of intrigue and speculation. As we peel back the layers of this paranormal mystery, we find ourselves drawn deeper into its enigmatic history. Venture with us now to the shadowy slopes of Mount Chakarua, where a chilling tale unfolds. This peak, nestled within the White Mountains of New Hampshire, is more than just a hiker's paradise. It's a land steeped in legend a place where the past and the present intertwine in the most mysterious of ways. Here, the spirit of the Native American Chief Chokorua supposedly lingers. The tale tells of a time when Chief Chokorua, wronged and filled with wrath, cursed the white settlers before taking a fatal leap from the mountain's craggy peak. His words, they say, echo through the ages, a chilling chant carried by the wind. The area is rife with unexplained phenomena, Hikers whisper of strange noises that seem to come from nowhere, a cacophony of whispers that sends shivers down their spines. They speak of sudden, unaccountable weather changes, of skies that darken without warning, of winds that howl with an almost human pain. And then, there's that eerie feeling of being watched. It's a sensation that many have reported, a prickling at the back of the neck, a feeling of unseen eyes following your every move, it's as if the mountain itself is alive, aware, its ancient spirit watching over its domain. The chilling echo of Chief Chokorua's curse still resonates in the winds of the mountain, a haunting reminder of a tragic past. Fast forward to the present day, where the paranormal refuses to be a thing of the past. New Hampshire continues to be a hotbed for eerie mysteries and inexplicable phenomena that leave even the most skeptical among us scratching their heads. The Granite State holds its fair share of modern mysteries that beckon the curious and the brave. Let's start with the haunted Gilson Road Cemetery. Nestled in Nashua, this seemingly ordinary burial ground has been the stage for countless chilling encounters. Visitors have reported seeing apparitions, hearing disembodied voices, and even feeling an unexplained chill in the air. Some have claimed that their electronic devices mysteriously malfunctioned or lost power when they were near the cemetery. Interestingly, these occurrences are not limited to the dead of night, but are reported at all times of the day. Moving east to Durham, we find the University of New Hampshire, a prestigious institution with its own share of spectral students. Stories of strange occurrences abound here, from inexplicable cold spots in certain buildings to untraceable footsteps echoing in empty corridors. There's even talk of a ghostly figure known only as the Whistler, who roams the campus grounds his haunting melody heard by those who dare to walk the university pathways after dark. What's striking about these modern mysteries is the sheer number of people who have experienced them. These aren't isolated incidents, but rather common occurrences that happen to ordinary folks going about their daily lives. Whether it's a chilling encounter at the cemetery or a spectral student at the university, these experiences are part of a larger narrative that continues to unfold. In the realm of the unknown, the mysteries of the past seamlessly merge with the enigmas of the present. As we delve deeper into these modern mysteries, we can't help but wonder, are these just figments of our imagination, or is there really more to this world than meets the eye? In the end, what does this all mean? We've journeyed through the chilling tales of Chakarua, 
the puzzling past, and the modern mysteries. These eerie narratives brimming with the unknown stir our deepest fascination with the paranormal. They serve as an echo, a reminder of the enigmatic aspects of our world and our own existence. These tales are not just stories, but a testament to the enduring allure of the unexplained. Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, the paranormal mysteries of New Hampshire continue to captivate, reminding us that some things in life remain deliciously unexplained.